Okay, so uh, welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some of the advanced settings of No Gallery. Um, and to do so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an existing content type into a No Gallery. So this is a default installation of Drupal, the one I used in the first video. As we can see, it's got four content types. It's got the two that come with uh, Drupal, and then it's got the two that was added uh, by the module. As you can see, we have one content type that represents the gallery, and then we have another content type that's used to store the gallery items. So, being as this is now going to be a gallery, what we need to do is add a new content type to uh, store the different media. So, we can go structure, content types, and add a content type. Let's call this page. Um, gallery item I'm going to leave all the other um, settings as default except for we don't want it on the front page uh, and that, that should be fine so now what we need to do is go to our page gallery item and add the field to store the media so let's call that page gallery item that'll be fine and then that's going to be a file and then save that I'm going to leave all that as default it's a required field Okay, so we're going to um, paste in the different files that we uh, want to accept. In our case, it's just going to be photos. Files directory, we can call that. This is going to be inside our uh, site's default files directory. So we call this page gallery items. going to leave all this um, as it is and that should be fine so save settings okay so now we've got a new content type um, called called page gallery item and inside that we've got a file field okay let's close this so next what we do is go and configure no gallery so we go configuration Content all three, no gallery, add a gallery uh, relationship type. So we're going to go gallery type is the basic page, and then the item type is page uh, gallery item, the new one that we just created. And then the file storage field is page gallery item that we just made. Click save. So this uh, we call this page no gallery now I'm going to leave all this um, as the default for a minute and then we're going to go and um, check out the um, how far this has got us um, so manage images uh, tab I'm going to include the body, so we've got title and body, and that's it, save. Okay, so we've got our page, no gallery, and then this is the default one. While we're here, we'll quickly have a look at global settings. So in here, in the previous video, this uh, got set up for us, and it's the PL upload uh, settings. And then other settings we can see here, we can enable keyboard shortcuts and uh, display different um, pieces of data about the uh, images. So no need to save anything there. Okay, so let's close that. Let's now go and add the basic page. So new basic 
try and gather them. Test. Not going to bother with a body. And leave everything else the uh, same. Ah. Okay, so that's never nice. Um, I've just learnt the reason uh, that this has happened is because we didn't select any views when we were setting up the node gallery, so I'm just going to go back to that. Node gallery. Go back to the one that we just created, change uh, settings. So here, this is where we, these uh, drop down boxes determine which views used for the different displays of our content. So for the full content, let's pick. Actually, before we do that, let's go. To, let's clone the view so that we can um, edit it. The gallery item views, and what we're going to do, we're going to clone this so that later I can use features to push this up to production. Um, it also means that I can save this view into code using features, which is. Uh, it said it's good for uh, performance. So, clone view. Clone of, yeah, continue. And then just click save. And then close that. Now we go back to content altering node gallery. Go to our, uh, the new relationship that we created a minute ago, change settings. And now here we can see the clone is available to us. So, full content, let's use the grid. Teaser, we're just going to want to show uh, the cover image. Going to leave that, search index, cover from now. Uh, the node gallery thumbnail, same thing. Just include the body and click save. Close that. Aha, error gone. Okay, so as we can see, we've created a basic page and we've now got the um, node gallery tabs. So let's upload some things. Start upload. Okay, so that's done. I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I showed you that. Oh no, let's go manage items. Okay, so now we can see that we've got the title available to um, fill in and also the body. Now, for me, what I'm going to use this as is the title uh, tag and the alt text. So let's quickly go and change that just for usability, structure, content types, page gallery item, manage fields, body. Okay. Save that. Close. Manage items. Okay, good. So we've got that's changed. So now let's sort out the uh, view that's displaying our images, or in this case, isn't displaying our images. And um, we've got some different contextual links that give us some options, but the one that we want is to edit the view. You can see here we've got. Um, the format that's being displayed is the content. We can change that to fields. Let's do that. 
The next thing is that this is pulling in, the, the field that is pulling is the uh, gallery media um, and we've created a new field so we need to add that. Need us a page gallery item. Uh, get rid of the label and we want the rendered file no gallery file thumbnail apply let's go and remove this one remove get our title for a minute and we're going to get rid of just exclude it for a minute ah, it's already done now if we save that all being well ah let's go back ah I see didn't use a relationship sorry need the relationship uh, gallery item just check these options again da -da -da -da. apply save aha we've got our images and because we already sorted out the colour box for the, this display it does it automatically for us so that is it from here it's just a case of few uh, configurations so obviously sorting out the display that you want um etc etc i uh, hope you enjoyed the tut uh, tutorial and i'll see you in the next one